Hello everyone, hope you have been having a very lovely day. In this video I want to tell you I'm a Krausit Logic software. Actually you will even need the PLC for this but uh, given that you don't, you can even uh, practice programs on this software. So once you uh, see that the execution in the software is going on well then you can connect your computer to the PLC and you can just check the Output. So I'm using these specifications XT26 and District Static, and the next is default. So to start with, I want to do a small input output program. So this is my input, and this DO box is the output. So connecting these two directly, and this is the edit mode. You see this E, that is the edit mode and S is the simulation mode and then click OK now if I click on ON the output is going to turn on if I turn it off it's going to turn off so this is a basic program this is not a taller program actually this is nothing so let me start with a basic program now I want a program in which uh, the output is a light is a light and this light must glow when I turn the switch on but when I turn when I press the push button off see if you have uh, especially in your push button uh, motors in your water motors you have a start button and you have a stop button so even if you press the start button second time the motor is not going to stop so once the motor starts it uh, doesn't actually depend on uh, the start button um, only if you press the stop button the motor has to stop even if you press the start button again and again and again and again the motor shouldn't stop so I have started I have I'm taking a program in which this is the start push button of your uh, water motor and this is your stop push button I don't have a red one so let me just go for this so basically if I have to connect something if it's just an on off thing I can directly give an input which means if I press start the motor will start if I press the start button again the motor is gonna stop so that shouldn't happen here I'm using something called set reset by using this I'm connecting the set to the start button and the reset to the stop button and I'm giving the output to the motor so now I'm clicking on simulation S which is on the top and then you click OK now this is the off position say this is your switch on switch off switch and your motor and your water motor so I'm turning on the motor is on so even if I turn this off, now I've done that, the motor should still be move, should still be working. On and off, on and off, it should still be working. Only if I press the stop button, it should turn off. Now you can see that it has been turned off. So what we have used here is the set reset option, which uh, is actually the, uh, we have used a reset as the priority situation. So this block can be used in cases like this. I'll be posting more videos for Krauset Millennium PLCs for the more. And hope this video helped. This is a very basic one. Thank you and have a lovely day.